my next guest told his parents that he was gay. His dad contemplated taking his own life, but now, 10 years on, well, his father is one of his biggest supporters. You can't really say the title of your book without going, yay! 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 That's the whole <laughs> idea, you know, this it's a celebration. Is, I know, this is such a brilliant book. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I wish it had been around 20, 30 years ago. Yeah, I really do. I think it would have been illegal 20 or 30 years ago, <laughs> but now it's, it's time, it's OK. It's not only OK, it's great. No, it's really good. It is... It's got such practical advice in here, Riyadh. It really has. You've done it in such a way with great humour. Yeah. But with total common sense. Absolutely. We wanted it to be as, as frank as possible. Look, yeah. at times, the, the war field that is being a young gay kid can be absolutely devastating, yeah. especially in school. You know, kids, when they're growing up, they can be really, really mean. And absolutely. I know that firsthand. Yeah. But once you reach that moment of coming out, being accepted by a community, by your family, by your teachers, it's beautiful. The weight mm. lifts and you finally see the world in colour. Exactly. And you're the person that you're, you always wear. Yeah, but you're allowed exactly. to be that person. Yeah. Your mum knew, really, didn't she, when you told her I mean, how could mom. she not? <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> well, that's what I'm, always, I, I'm always amazed when parents say, oh, it was such a yeah, shock. And I look think, at them. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you know your kids. You know, With your dad, a little bit more difficult for him. I think that they saw me just as their little fella, Riyadh, who liked to keep himself to himself and he liked a bit of nature. And that's because I was afraid of becoming too close and too open to other peers because right. I knew they knew and they were sure. the bullying was there. So when he found out, yeah, it, it was difficult. He was he took about a week um, to fully, fully start talking to me, and then uh, a year to actually start loving me again. Oh, but we're we're so in love now as you a family. Are. He goes to pride events yeah, with you. Yeah, best friends with drag queens. You've had. <laughs> You've had Panty here, haven't you? Panty Bliss. Oh, Panty Bliss. They, they go for pints together. It's just, yeah. Um, I love that. So, I really dad, do. dad has come full, full circle. And, and he campaigns and he's even written a chapter in the he book. Has, you know, and so it's lovely. I said to them, you know, this book, I've written it for these young gay kids, but yeah. I need advice in there for the parents exactly. who've just found out that information. They're really struggling to accept. And you, as a mom and dad who've done it, what yeah. can they do? And that works so beautifully. I mean, they've, they've lifted it. And, that, and again, that addresses... This is the thing about the book. It addresses so many things. So open about sex. It's oh, great. Yeah. But you need to be. Yeah. People need that information. It's not, it's, I wouldn't call it dirty. I'd call it honest. And it's not, no, it's, it's not dirty at all. It's, it's absolutely it's honest funny. and funny. Sex is imperfect, whether you're gay, straight, <laughs> or you're just on your own. Um, <laughs> yes, some of us are. And uh, let's, let's have a laugh about it while also learning. Um, and the thing is with me is when I was in school, it was all straight sex. This is how it works. And, and let's sort of turn our, a blind eye to yeah. all that other stuff, mm. uh, demonise it, make it seem overly dirty when really it's just as clunky and boring. <laughs> and we need, you know, LGBT kids to know that their sex is a beautiful thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their sexuality, their gender identity is a beautiful thing. Um, and here's a kind of a life Bible for you going forward into the world. Oh, it's such a great idea. It really is. And the huge support you've had too. Yeah, you must uh, be delighted. I'm over the moon. No, because you know what it's like when you write something, you're not sure. You know, you think you've done a real good yeah. job, but you're not sure. But the response has been amazing. Well, it's scary because, you know, I, I do TV, I do radio, yeah, I do YouTube, and you can kind of, you can delete a YouTube video. Yeah. You can't delete a book. No, that's It's there true. forever. So if you make a mistake, <laughs> if you say something wrong, so it, it, it was about a year writing it and it, it, there was a lot of tears, there was a lot of, funny moments, there was a lot of digging through old stories with friends. Yeah. What, what really happened that yeah. night when I, you know, when we kissed each other and yeah. um, it, it was an amazing experience. And, and it, it's a number one bestseller, which I is mind-blowing <laughs> to me. Um, and we have uh, uh, Stephen Fry and Courtney, like you said, I know, there in the book I which is great, too. which is really good. What do you want for young, young gay men and women who read this book or people that are not sure of their sexuality? Mm. Um, what do you hope that they'll take from it? That you are not flawed. You are not sick. There is nothing about you that needs to be changed. That you are a wonderful, gorgeous young human being. Just the world needs some time to catch up to that fact. Right. Um, go out there, be authentic, be safe, um, and sort of pass the, the big pink baton <laughs> down to the next generation <laughs> who are coming up. That's what I'm trying to do with the book, is that, you yeah, know, we've got to help each other. No, absolutely. If your parents don't accept you, if they kick you out of the house or they're, or they're, they're mean in any way, give them time. Mm. They're going through just as much of a transformative process as you. That's this is true. new to them. Yeah. Um, speak to them openly. Tell them that this is not a decision that you made. You didn't wake okay. up one, one morning and decide to be part of a group that's discriminated against, okay. you know? Who would decide that? Mm. Um, and, yeah, just to sort of 
live free and happily. Oh, that's wonderful. It really is. And do you think ever in Northern Ireland, who's got, I would yeah. imagine, a lot more things to be concentrating on, whether or not two people who love each other want to get married, yeah. do you think they'll ever catch up with the rest of us and, and, and you'll be able to, to get married in, in Northern Ireland? I haven't got a choice, Lorraine. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you know, it's the last piece of the puzzle. All of the, you know, Ireland, Scotland, yeah. uh, England, uh, Wales, we, we've, we've done it. Mm. It's Northern Ireland. And uh, unfortunately, we, it's down to a couple of people in power who have very, very conservative views mm. and who seem to enjoy treating LGBT people like second class citizens. And enough is enough. Exactly. The day that Ireland got the same sex var uh, marriage vote over the line, first country in the world to do it by public vote. That's right. Someone like me, a young guy who grew up in that country, was elated. I finally felt that you love me, mm. you accept me. And I walked down the street with my parents the next day, and it, it was like the country had changed overnight. Um, we, we had shown the world that Ireland was no longer this regressive, somewhat conservative country. It, it had kind of come into the 21st century sure. roaring, which is great. Oh, it's what, more power to you, love. Thank more you. power to you. It's a cracking book. Yay, you're gay. Now what is what it's called? And it's out now and it's a bestseller and it's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Joy to see you. Come back and see me real soon. Will do.